beautiful souls welcome back and hey to everyone that is new um so my name is ali this is my channel mystic love tarot i am a psychic medium a druid priestess um and i am a tarot reader as well so you link all of that together and that is how i read so i channel directly from source through to you from spirit through spirit to spirit Okay, pretty neat, isn't it? So what we're going to do today is, are they thinking of you? I'm just reading what I wrote. <laughs> I can't remember what the title was. Are they thinking of you? Um, two decks that I've been really drawn to is the Lunar Soul Tarot um, and This Might Hurt Tarot. As a heads up, this might hurt. Now, this is one of my personal decks that I never use in readings, but I really felt the pull to this today. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Are they, are you, are they thinking of you? Number one, number two, go to the deck you're most drawn to. And as you go to that deck, I want you to just think about your person and feel their energy. And as you feel their energy, if you can energetically push it to the deck, or if you can't do that, just visualize a pink or a green color going from your heart space into the deck that you are drawn to. And let's get cracking. Right, deck number one. Are they thinking of you? How many times am I gonna to have to look over that? <laughs> just move those over there right i want you to think about your person as we go into that energy so it works a little bit like how we used to work out the average of mass at school we go into all your energies all your people's energy and pull out the strong energy link between you all but obviously if you want a private reading just drop me a message mystic love tarot at gmail.com are they thinking of you are they thinking of you is your person that you are asking about thinking of you that's a hand slip so cars normally jump out they're kind of being uh pushed out by the powers that be and um, but sometimes if there's more than one that jumps out it's a hand slip so that one well there were three um it's a hand slip so the song that i'm getting first and foremost as it's coming through my right ear is that um what was his name Chesney Hawks, I am the one and only, nobody I'd rather be. Are they thinking about you? Just this, are they thinking about you? So, your person with I am the one and only, the first card that's jumped out is the Knight of Wands. So this is very much your person's energy. They are a power energy. They are a strong individual. They have a sense of sexuality that pulls them towards you, but they might be a little bit non-committal. You might find them a little bit of a fill in the blanks with your word, it's your specified word, a-hole, uh, knob, etc., etc. Fill in the blank on what you actually want to call your person. There is a very, very strong, passionate sexual attraction between you guys, and therefore you are in their thoughts. But they're thinking about you at this moment. There's a shift in the energy coming up. At this moment, they're thinking about you more from a sexual, passionate, non-committal place. But that being said, they're probably just, I actually feel Spirit is saying to me as well, that they are just kind of a little bit on the fence at the moment. They're not quite ready to jump. They're not quite ready to jump into a relationship, but that is going to be changing. And as I'm looking at the future cards, that energy weighs out into a positive, building a relationship and building stability between you guys. So... First and foremost, where they are at the moment, hanging on the shelf, waiting to see what happens, see how the situation plays out without committing, but with the intention that you guys can have a future together. They are forward focusing, okay, so they are looking to a future, but at the moment, the reason why they are on the shelf a little bit about it is because they just want to see how it plays out. With justice kind of coming up underneath, this would speak about perhaps they've had karmic relationships, perhaps circumstances around them is a little bit difficult at the moment. They have a past, and with that past, this is where your person is not committing. So they have to shelve their fears of the past, they have to put they're sitting on the shelf, they have to leave that past energy on the shelf as well and make these moves and jumps towards you, okay? So they've got to get over this, this happened in the past, I'm a little bit hurt, I'm a wounded soldier. What I feel with this connection and, and something that I absolutely love is taking a chance on love and this is where the connection is going to change with you. So your person at the moment, you're going to have to give them a little bit of time, they are thinking about you, they are thinking that potentially there's a future, with the right amount of time, your person's going to take a shot on love again. And that's what I absolutely love about this. Um, love, we always get hurt, we get wounded, we get broken, we have pain. 
but the the point of love is once you've experienced all of that you've really the love was so high and it was so strong and it was so beautiful that you're ready to start again and try it one more time and that's what your person's energy is they've been hurt in the past there's been karmic connections that's why they're not committing at this moment but when they get to a place where they feel ready they will offer you that commitment so they can see that it's potentially a future but it's like you've got to go at their speed and some of you guys are like well that's on a, the speed of a snail <laughs> but that is what the energy is doing it's shifting it's moving it's transforming so let me show you the other three cards that i pulled uh, for those who read tarot you've got the star you've got the ace of cups and you've got the Ten of Pants over here. So for those of you that read Tarot, you know that these cards are actually all really, really positive. Once we get past this karmic energy, there is a shift and a change in your dynamic and things start to move forward. The Star card always reminded me of a pathway moving towards your goals, moving towards your dreams, moving towards your aspirations, going where you want to go. So the shift in that energy is the karmic contracts clearing. You guys might have a karmic energy between you guys. And if you want me to do a karmic clearing or a past life reading, we can have a look at what's going on. Just give me a shout at mrlovetarotgmail.com. We have a shift and a change in this non-committal energy karmic energy kind of coming to a head to follow the path and when we follow the path we get into these very family romantic orientated cards the 10 will symbolize an ending and the ace will symbolize a new beginning okay the 10 also symbolizes if you ever see 10 10 that is an ending and a new beginning and i remember when i was ending my, my marriage um yes i am divorced I am divorced. So I have a, I have a, like a, a partner now, like a husband, but he, we're not married. I don't, I think I've been, a, I've been put off marriage a little bit. Um, but my pre, my, my ex-husband, I should say, I used to see 1010 and that was always like about endings and new beginnings. I used to pull the tower regularly and I was like, I know this is going to end. Um, but the 1010 symbolizes you closing a chapter and you're beginning a new one. Now, with it being the 10 of pentacles, this is talking about family orientation. So yes, you are going to be ending where this non-committal energy is and building towards a family and with the ace of cups right next to it this is a rom romantic new beginning for you so you are going to be creating that shift it's just if how long you want to wait while this person lets the energy transform around them so are they thinking about you yes at the moment they are seeing that there is a potential future but they've got to start acting on it and if you want to go into more details and look at your individual readings just give me a shout mr love tarot at gmail.com you can find all the information out on the website which is www.mrlovetarot.com um, and just give me a shout if you need me you can also dm me actually on insta or facebook which is just mr love tarot you can find me there's only one of me i think there's only one of me we had an imposter before um there should only be one of me i set insta to private because um i couldn't be bothered with um the 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 imposters i can't think what the weird is i couldn't be bothered with imposters cloning your account because there's a massive thing of them doing that in the tarot community just as a heads up i will never message you first for readings i will never say dear beloved or anything along those lines, any of that shit show, I won't do any of that. If you want me, you can just drop me a message and I promise you I will reply. And it's most likely not going to say, hello, beloved. It will be like, hey, hey, my lovely, hey, love. And I use love a lot because I'm a Northern girl. Um, hey, love, I say a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Deck number two, are they thinking of you? Let's just flip that one round. That card should have been facing the right way. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, we're working on the mutual energy between you all. Um, it's how, how I work collective readers. I'm not sure about other people, but I go into your energy and we're going to go now, think of your person, into the person you're thinking is about energy. So it goes into all of you's connections and it pulls out the strong energy between you all. So then we go to, are they thinking of you? And we see what cards say, we see what spirits say, and we let them lead the way. Ah, death. <laughs> Are they thinking about you? Don't panic. Are they thinking about you? Now, I really like the death card because um, it's really, really a card of transformation, um, of shifting, of things changing between you guys and ending a beginning. Um, Are they thinking about you? three that's four actually Let's see if i can do my own maths are they thinking about you five okay what's quite interesting here
here is you pulled uh, the same card as deck number one at the end, I think, with the chariot coming up. Either that or maybe you didn't. I can't remember. Um, but chariot's coming into this, okay? So longer term, things, movement, headway, facing forward. At the moment, you two with death card has probably come to a little bit of a standstill. Um, you've either having a sense of grieving, they might have gone ghost. There is, you could be feeling a sense of loss over the connection. But what spirit are saying to me is through loss comes growth. And that is why the chariot is over here. So they are also saying um, that when you plant a seed, you have to cover, cover it in man manure or shit for it to grow. Um, and I definitely posted that on Instagram or Facebook about psychedelic mushrooms and how they grow through shit. And if that happens, how, why can't you? And Spirit really reiterating that point that you are actually going for this massive transformation and period of growth at the moment. You guys watching. Now, that being said, we have a mirroring energy over here. We have an echoing energy. So you and your person often echo each other's moods, echo each other's feelings, echo each other's thoughts. And your person sometimes doesn't know how to handle that and can be a bit snappy, a bit crappy um, and a bit of a crab a bit selfish um shellfish fish selfish you get it bad joke okay so they can be a bit like that um so there is this transformation that is happening with you guys at the moment you might not be in contact and you might be feeling a sense of grief but i want you to know and be aware that your person is actually really feeling that too spirit saying to me at the moment that they are trying to respect your boundaries so whether you've had arguments whether you've you know they've really hurt you and, and you don't know what to do about the situation it's like they want to reach out to you but they're not quite in a place Place that they're ready to do it at this moment in time they're wanting to communicate with you but they're trying to respect the boundaries that you shared with them what you want how you want it to go etc etc so you are probably feeling a sense of loss now I want you to know that your person is feeling that as well and that's the echo 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 that is the echo there is a sense of loss here um now as spirit said through through growing through the manure you get strong okay you, you flowers grow through the stuff that they they get covered in right they get you grow the more hard stuff happens in your life and i know this is not really a, a it's not really a consolation that's the right word nearly said the other one which is i can't remember not that it's a consolation that you go through these difficult times but you do grow and there is that quote that spirit are giving me that you know when you're going through a storm you won't even know that you have come to the end of it but one thing is for certain you are not going to be the same person that entered at the beginning so you lot watching are going through some serious serious transitions at the moment if you haven't worked out your numerology for the year, that might be quite an interesting thing to do. And if you want me to do it over a single email reading, I can do that for a tanner. Um, we can look at your numerology for the year and see what's going to be happening, what your year is all about. Big, big transformations. Now, the question that we asked is, is your person thinking about you? So we take you out of the equation at the moment and we think about, let's look at your person. So there is a transformation happening here. At the moment, your person is trying to act a little bit more on logic than emotions. So they're very much in that air energy. They're very much in their mind about it all. They're probably thinking, I have made the right choice. I am going to respect your boundaries. You're, you weren't happy with this, so I'll kind of give you what you want. But... Don't, what's the word when you say sucker fools, suffer fools, but don't suffer fools gladly, spirit saying to me really over here. Your person can think this all they want, but the connection between the two of you is still there. This hasn't come to an end. It is dormant. It has gone to sleep. It is in hibernation. So your person can think all of this, all they want, but the but is when their mind steps out of the way and they get out of their own way, there is this communication coming forward from them they are going to be the ones that message you rather than the other way around they are going to message you from a place of uncertainty to see how you are to see what you're doing and to see if you got over them that is why they're going to reach out to you they're going to want a bit of an ego boost as well you to kind of because you're not bouncing to a uh, piping you're not 
one of you at a time who taught so much, you know, it kind of comes out like weird vomit. You are not uh, singing, they, they said you are not singing to their dance. And then they said piping to the piper's tune. There was two, um, two higher vibration energies then, uh, higher guides, okay? So your guides speak in this left ear, uh, the higher guides from higher dimensions come through the right ear. So that's why it gets a bit muddled up on sometimes. This is them reaching towards you, okay? And making some kind of offering. With the ukulele kind of coming in this, the ukulele often sings a song of peace and I'm just getting that somewhere over the rainbow song. So it looks like after a bit of time, when your person gets out of their own way, they're going to come towards you, make some kind of peace offering, give you an olive branch and say, hey, what's up? What's up? And from there, you guys can work out what it is that you want to do. So... The question that we are asking is, are they thinking of you? They are, but they are trying not to. They are, but they are acting on logic. They are, but they are standing by what they've initially said. They are, but they're standing by their actions. At the moment, this is a shift coming here. Let me just ask what's gonna create that shift, what's gonna change, what's gonna change with the shift. Tower be better really so the tower I, I speak about towers with you guys we talk about big t towers little t towers big things happening little things happening divorces breakups endings health issues um arguments falling outs things that can be resolvable big t towers little t towers so the fact that your person is going to have a tower is they're going to realize their actions realize how they've handled the situation worry that you're moving on worry that they've lost you they have got complacent with this situation, thinking that you will always be there. When the tower hits, when this big T, little T towers hit, this is what makes them reach out to you. It could be circumstances, it could be gossip through the grapevine, whatever it is that causes this tower and with your person's thoughts is what is going to be what gets them to message you and see how you are. So yeah they are thinking about you in a bit of avoidance at the moment there could be a karmic energy with that avoidance as well and if you want a karmic clearing or you want to look at past life readings just give me a shout um there is shifts that will be coming you guys need to stand strong stand firm um Trust in yourself, Spirit Zone. Trust in your intuition. Trust in your own guidance. I know a lot of you are talking to your guides and getting a bit annoyed at them because you might not be hearing them properly or you might be trying to perhaps put your um, own thoughts and feelings on what they are actually saying. But they're saying to me, can you just listen to the essence of what is actually going on within your intuition, not your head? Intuition, sorry, not your head. Listen to those third eyes. Listen to what your instinct is saying. Listen to that gut instinct. Gut instinct is never wrong. And that's step number two. So, my loves, just drop me a message if you need me. Um, I am about raring to go, ready for readings for you. Um, I do half hour, 15 minute video readings. I also do email readings, which or, or voice note if you're on Facebook and Instagram. They are only a tenner a question. So, if you want, and, and it's a quick turnaround, it's 24 to 48 hours. So, if you want a answer by tomorrow, um, just give me a shout and I'll do it for you. Love you lots, guys. Ciao, ciao, ciao.